So Rome DMV, I was trying to put my finger on it, man, but I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't know what it was, but I figured out what it was. I figured out why the battle rap community, all of these bloggers have a problem with you. You a motherfucking liar, dude. Like you sneaky. Like like you got this little sneaky persona about you that's real goddamn like iffy, dude. So let me explain some things that I saw because I really didn't know what, you know, I heard your name. I just wanted to check you out a little bit, but I'm going to break down a couple things. First of all, you said um, you wanted to break down um, Mike P versus Bill Collector. So in your blog, you were stating, well, Bill Collector could use this angle and use this angle and X, Y, and Z. You know what I think you did? I think that you have already contacted Bill Collector and you have given him information about Mike P to use against Mike P. Like some sneaky shit. Then after you gave them the information, you came back and you did a blog about it and said, don't quote me on this, but he might say this and he might say that. That's some sneaky shit. Then you came back with the whole T-Rex thing and said that, oh, well, uh, T-Rex, you know, I just got off a of FaceTime, you know, video messenger with him or whatever case it be. His face is cleared up fine. And I don't know what that other picture is from. Hold on, bro. You just got off the phone with him, off the video with him. Why didn't you ask him what that picture was from? That way, if you're going to come live and do whatever you're going to do in reference to video chat, chatting and giving battle rap community information, why not give them the full details if you just spoke to this man? He could have said, hey, this was a car accident from two years ago. You know, I don't know why it's resurfaced or I'm beefing with somebody. So they decided to take some an old photo off of my Instagram or whatever and then post it and say, hey, something happened. Like you're not giving any relevant information. You know what I'm saying? But the information you given, it's like it's it's some it's like on some sneaky underhanded shit or whatever case be. So I kind of see why other bloggers have issues with you. And I'm really trying to give you a pass. You know, I'm really trying to say, you know what? Well, maybe it's because he 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 in that woodshed outhouse. You know what I mean? And it's real cold outside. So he keep wearing the same hoodie every time he blog. But I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what I'm saying what, what's your angle? You know, what's your angle? You know what I'm saying? It's almost like you are a battle rap groupie almost, but you a blogger on top of it. And it's like, what's up with you and twerk, man? Why why you why you so dead set on promoting twerk so hard? Like, I mean, he cool. Twerk got he cool or whatever. But to be honest with you, he hasn't been that consistent. Let's just be real. And Ryder, I don't know who takes Ryder serious. I don't, I don't know who takes Ryder serious. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, whatever. It's like his name is just now coming up in conversations, but he's been in battle rap, what, five years? So, I mean, I don't know who's actually taking Ryder serious or whatever. And whatever he said to Mike P, to be honest with you, Ryder wouldn't say that to nobody else. So, I mean, I mean, let's just keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? He was messing with Mike P, man bun. And I mean, you know, uh, messing with his girlfriend or whatever case may be. And his shit kind of went left and he said some things in the battle. Okay. Whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? Mike P is now becoming uh, a threat being consistent, the level of aggression, um, the, the having three rounds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely impressive. Definitely impressive. We need to put him up, up against some bigger names to see how he's going to fare out. Um, twerk, uh, needs to be more consistent. You know, he's been jerseying out. I don't know what's up with this Jersey thing. Like that is the tell all be all I'm going to say Jersey and everybody's supposed to cheer. And, you know, it's kind of hard to do that when you in, you know, not, not even small rooms when you, when you're doing these viral battles or whatever case may be, and no one can be in the room. So you Jersey out. It's like, it's just silence. It ain't the oohs and the odds. It ain't the things that you would normally get if you were in a live battle. So, you know, I just think that Rome DMV, man, you do a lot of sneaky shit, bro. Like, if, if you listen to how you state it, you can't state I've talked to someone. And then after you finish talking with someone, you still don't have all the facts. You can't state that, oh, well, Bill Collector could say this and say that and say that. Can you imagine someone who snitches on you, then turns around and says, yeah, you know, um, you know, those people could have this information on you and they could have that information on you. But you're the one providing them the information. You're waking up in the morning with cold still in your eyes and shit in the woods and shit under the goddamn tree bark talking about, let me tell y'all what I know. 
Like, come on with that sneaky shit, man. I'm really trying not to be on your ass, bro. So, pause. I'm really trying not to be on your ass. But listen, you, you got to chill with the sneaky shit. Because it, it looking, you looking kind of funny out here in these streets, Rome DMV. You looking kind of funny, bro.